Oracle Santa Clara, Santa Clara discovering the secrets inside the engineer's room and we have here Hinkmon he is an engineer almost 20 years uh, working uh, for Sun and Oracle so it's a big pleasure to discover uh, some new devices and new projects here he is also writing uh, a series of articles about uh, startup and hardware and job embedded so Hello, thank Hank. You. Hello, Benicius, and thank you for coming into my office. We're, we're doing a What's on Hinkman's Desk session. So, uh, fortunately, I've done a little bit of cleanup here and, and sweeping up, but maybe you'll, you'll find some food crumbs and, and some things out of place. <laughs> but generally, this is uh, what's the technology that I'm currently uh, playing around with and investigating on my desk. Very nice. So, Thanks. what we have here today? Okay, so. On my desk, on this right hand side, I'll start out with this uh, Freescale board. This is an IMX6 board and it's a boundary device saber light. And what I'm doing is running Java SE on this device which is a uh, uh, Cortex A9 and that's a ARM V7 type of device where it connects with Bluetooth. And you see the Bluetooth device here with this uh, pulse ox meter which is a, a pulse and uh, oxygen sensor and that uses Bluetooth to talk to Java SE applications running on that board and so that one I've been uh, testing and using for the upcoming Freescale Technology Forum Conference and that's going to be in Dallas, Texas this week on, on the week of uh, April 11th and um, actually April 8th, 8th through 11th and uh, that's one of the the, um, the fun types of uh, demos that I'm working on now. But for my blog, if you move over a little bit to the left, what's on Hickman's desk is also a Raspberry Pi. And of course that's what most developers use and that's what I'm using on my blog uh, to do different types of uh, blog posts about do-it-yourself projects. And one of the do-it-yourself projects was using a uh, Hexbug which is a little robot that uses a remote control that can get programmed by, again, Java SE running on that Raspberry Pi, just like the IMX6 board runs Raspberry Pi, uh, runs Java SE embedded. They, they run the same way, and uh, you're, you just write your program once in Java, and you're able to run it anywhere. So that's mainly what's on my desk now. I've, I've, I always run an LED project that flashes these lights on my desk and this just uh, tells me that there's a Java program that I wrote a long time ago about a year and a half ago when the Raspberry Pi first came out and I keep it running just to make sure that Java doesn't have any memory leaks or any crash problems that a lot of uh, pl platforms and technologies have you can see that th this has been running on my desk for for months now without <laughs> crashing without you know having any memory issues so that's one thing that I always do on my desk is, is make sure my, my LED project is running okay. Um, I have different sensors and, and you should recognize some of these sensors yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, like this one's a, a IR, IR um, type of motion detector and if you plugged it in and moved your hand over it, it would be able to turn on and off the GPIO value so mm -hmm. that you can read it in your Java SE uh, device, uh, in your Java SE program. And then there's a, um, a blog series that I'm doing right now. It's called uh, How to Build Your Own $3.9 Billion Nest Startup. <laughs> and this startup would have um, a uh, thermostat, a smart thermostat, that's programmed in Java SE embedded as the, the out outcome of the project. And right now, I'm in process. You can see there's different components. There's this um, LCD touch panel and this is a, a color LCD screen that hooks up to the Raspberry Pi and that plugs in with a header board and I'm in process of soldering it I, I need to put the header on it and this is a relay board so it's got switches on it and it also has a header uh, pin connector okay, so that you can plug it in Pi. Yeah, for the Raspberry Pi exactly and then what it has here on the orange are different connectors to relays on the board mm -hmm. that can be programmed by your Raspberry Pi and Java SE embedded and of, of course you know these relays can handle higher loads than just the Raspberry Pi pins. The Raspberry Pi pins are only meant for 3.3 .3 volts and 
very very small um, uh, types of current like you know you, you would use to drive a LED but if you wanted to turn a, on and off a motor or your furnace mm -hmm. in your house you would need a relay and these relays are more heavy duty they can handle more current they can handle AC current especially if you wanted to turn on and off your your furnace or your air conditioner so you would have to upgrade to using this to switch on and off devices so that's another thing that I'm working on and this is from element 14 it's called the Pi face and that again you can program in Java too not just in C with your device very so, nice yeah so my question would be um, why do you think that for someone that is creating a new startup uh, creating some device and creating the ecosystem behind the device why Java is better and is well prepared compared to like a language like C++ or C that people use to use for creating device why we yeah. choose Java Oh, that's a great question. I think with Java programming language, number one, it's an object-oriented programming language, and you don't have to worry about things like memory pointers or, or memory references that way because you have garbage collection. But at the same time, Java can handle much more complex programming chores like having uh, artificial intelligence or having uh, things like... Oh, I'm back on camera now. <laughs> or having uh, things like... Um, uh, uh, complex event processing, things that uh, make it much more uh, intelligent to run as a program on these devices is making smart devices instead of just uh, internet of dumb devices. Mm -hmm. We want to, to make sure that these have complexity in them and one way to do that is using Java to, as the platform. Oh yeah, because with this, this uh, uh, power, uh, with the power of this board you can make a lot of things Right. inside a device even if you're not connected to the internet or the cloud yeah that's right you can you can make it run autonomously on the device but there there is power also in the cloud there's uh, of course since we're oracle we can do things like uh, have big data analytics we can have things like um, complex complex processing of events also on the back end through those uh, connections to the cloud too so so we also provide that with our Java APIs and our Java libraries and our Java platform that we run on devices. Very nice and just using the Java knowledge you can create the embedded device, the server side, That's the exactly. intelligence and everything just with just one platform. Yeah? That's right. That's exactly Very good. right. Very good. So I hope you like that. That's uh, what's on Hinkman's desk today. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Thanks a lot Hink for showing uh, some cool devices and talking about startup and, and, and devices and things that you can do with Java platform. It will be very useful for all the Java community. Thanks a lot. Right. Thank you.